Hi everyone, Rick here with Rick's 1 through 5 Scale Models with another tutorial. This one's going to be on another style of putting camouflaging on a German vehicle. This is a technique that's very common with the German army ever since World War II and they've continued on into the modern Bundeswehr. What I'll be doing is taking moss and taking each strand and taking it and making it look like branches and then attaching it to the vehicle after I get it prepared to create the look of live foliage on the vehicle. Uh, this is something very very common. Uh, I've had a, several subscribers talk about it after seeing the video I did on this martyr upgrade. Uh, you look at lots of pictures and videos in wartime you'll like you said before you'll either see something similar to this with this strip on or the standard NATO uh, camouflage netting you'll see or more commonly or supplemented they'll put uh, some kind of live foliage all over the vehicle to the point of lightly on it and to the point of it's totally covered and looks like a big bush but the first thing I'm going to need to do is take this model that I've completed and weather it up detail it getting it look um, where this one was more of a dusty look with this I'm going to be going with more of a muddy look uh, winter time doing some techniques of uh, creating the dust look like here but then on the lower parts, especially toward the front, making it look more wet. Also getting a lot of mud buildup in the track area, bogey wheels, etc. Um, grubbing, grubbing this all up and just overall making it look like it's a muddy day. So let's get started.
Okay, so I've completed the weathering of the vehicle. Uh, what I've got is the dirty, muddy look. I've got a lot of muddy grass built up in here along the tracks, uh, not in the bogey wheel area where it turns, and then this area is where it would come off. Also, uh, grubby the sides up a lot uh, through the different techniques. Grass and debris kind of coming through the holes up underneath here. And in the front you can see uh, the different looks. And on this side, same thing all the way down. Different things using the uh, paints and chalk and then uh, hitting it with a nice flat to uh, tone everything down and seal it all up. Next stage will be taking the cheesecloth, painting it, connecting it to the sides, and then from there working through the uh, moss to create the look. The only thing about this is I'm going to have to change these colors a little bit and darken it down. It's, it's a little too fake green here. So I'm, I'm looking more of a, uh, a darker color like in this area. So I'm going to kind of pick through it to get what I need and work on different ways to darken this down. And then I'll start attaching it to the vehicle. So let's start the next process.
Okay, so here's a look at the completed model. You'll see the uh, moss hang on the sides. I did, after I finished this, hit it with a uh, another clear flat coat to kind of tone everything all down a little more. I added a water bottle in the back, which you'll see a lot of. They put a uh, glow stick in there for following at night. Uh, you can see how all the equipment is pretty dusty and grubby, muddy as if it's been splashing around in the mud uh, during exercises. I've added some uh, supplies on the outside. Uh, you can still see the uh, camo uh, netting underneath and then all the branches are all tied to that along with the uh, silhouette blocker in the front here. Um, the grubby wheels, overall uh, look of the vehicle being camouflaged and breaking up the silhouette, which is the whole point of this is to make it uh, easier to conceal. Um, pretty nice effect. I'm real uh, pleased with it overall. The moss is a little hard to work with. You've really got to pick through a lot and find some decent pieces. Uh, it does look like brush and so it, it makes it work out nicely. Um, overall, like I said, I'm real pleased with it. Uh, nice effect. So that's going to be my tutorial on how to go about this. Any questions or comments, please reach out to me. Please like and subscribe and uh, more videos to come. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll have some pictures of this in better detail so you can get a good close-up of everything. Take care, happy modeling, and talk to you next time. Bye-bye.